Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Larry Eastep with the Central Illinois Weather Network. The headline behind me on this uh, newspaper back here may very well be the headline in many areas uh, again today. It was uh, overnight. This is from back in uh, March of 2006 here in Springfield, Illinois. But disaster strikes is uh, the headline, and that certainly was the case overnight as we had tornado reports all over the Mid-South, Ohio, and Tennessee Valleys. 51 people dead as of 1 o'clock this afternoon, and it is still continuing to add up as additional victims are found. And this was a wide swath of damage. We're going to show you that on the map here in a moment, but more importantly, this afternoon, we have the risk of more severe weather in some of those same areas that got hit very hard yesterday. Let's go to the maps. I want to show you what we're talking about here. We're looking at... A line of thunderstorms right now, pretty much between Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. It doesn't look like a whole lot on radar, but the Storm Prediction Center has issued a mesoscale discussion on this uh, over the past couple of hours. Uh, they're watching this. They feel like there is a possibility as these storms continue to march off towards the east that these may start to develop. And this low is basically sitting along a line this afternoon right along I-65 from Indianapolis, Indiana, down through the Nashville area and off to the southwest. It's not moving real fast, and as the afternoon progresses, we may see some severe weather development, not on the scale as yesterday, but this could start to fire up some more. This is a little bit closer view right around Lexington, Kentucky in the past half hour. We've seen these storms. No warnings have come out with these in Kentucky. There are warnings to the south, though. Let's take a larger picture and see where all these storms are firing up this afternoon. Uh, down around the Atlanta area, very prominent storms uh, this afternoon from uh, just to the south of Atlanta to the south of Montgomery, Alabama, up to Columbia, South Carolina. And you can see other storms kind of scattered here and there. Johnson City, Tennessee in the last half hour has had some severe weather move through there. You can see the storm just to the northwest of Johnson City uh, about 20 minutes ago and just to the west of Bristol, Tennessee, that big area there in yellow outline, severe thunderstorm with some large hail reported there. And that's going to be the case throughout the afternoon. Again, they're looking at the risk for damaging wind gusts and possibly some tornadoes from now east of Louisville, Kentucky, over through Charleston, West Virginia down through uh, the southeastern portion of Kentucky, Jackson, Kentucky, and up to the Cincinnati metro area also, possibly under the gun for some severe weather. Further to the south and east, areas from Knoxville, Tennessee, Johnson City, we showed you a moment ago, and east of the Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, this morning got some severe weather. Very unusual as these storms kind of go along the Appalachian and Smoky Mountains this afternoon and race towards the east coast as the late afternoon goes on. We could see additional severe weather development occur. Again, it's going to be in this corridor here where you see storms right now. You can draw a line pretty much from Louisville south and to around Montgomery, Alabama to the east. Anything in that area could be uh, under the risk of additional severe weather this afternoon. Let's go back to yesterday now. I want to show you, or uh, uh, talk a little bit here also about the damage reports. We had a total of 73 tornado reports during the day and overnight hours. 199 wind gusts uh, reported, uh, significant wind damage reports. Uh, there were two extreme wind damage reports and 112 reports of hail, with 12 of them being two inches in diameter or more. The high wind reports, the two we told you that uh, were very significant that weren't tornadic related, 65 knots or more with those. So a total of 384 reports of severe weather yesterday. A few of them of note, uh, tornadoes of note. Again, 51 reported dead, according to CNN, at this hour from the storms. Uh, there were tornadoes, again, in Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi. Let's go back to the map here. We'll kind of uh, point these out. Three fatalities in Muhlenberg County, Kentucky, last night near Greenville. Uh, numerous injuries reported at a mobile home park. Also, there were two fatalities and five injuries in Hardin, Tennessee, at the Morris Chapel area. Houses were damaged with people trapped. They are still uh, recovering victims there in that area. Debris was reported in the air in Conway, Arkansas, last night. And in Arkansas, they had three fatalities in the Pope County area near Atkins. Four fatalities. Uh, now confirmed seven miles to the south southeast of Scottsville, Kentucky, in Allen County. That would be uh, just in the southern tier of uh, the state of Kentucky. 
Truesdale County, Tennessee, two fatalities there, two miles north of the intersection of Highway 231 and Highway 25. Uh, also reporting three fatalities confirmed um, again in Muhlenberg County, Kentucky. Two industries destroyed, a church destroyed, and several homes destroyed in Lafayette County, Mississippi overnight. Uh, one injury from broken glass there. Roof damage at a FedEx fire station at the Memphis International Airport. Roof blown off Pinnacle Airline hangar at uh, the Memphis International Airfor Airport. Planes removed. Air stairs removed 100 yards, and it moved a 737 airplane overnight. So that gives you the idea of what we were looking at uh, during the overnight hours. We had tornadoes track over the same area in Nashville Metro three or four times last night. So just as uh, victims would come out uh, of the debris and start to try to clean up in some of these in some of these towns and counties in Tennessee, another round would come in. It was an amazing night. It was a historical night as far as severe weather goes, and a very deadly one. And I believe the death count will probably go up throughout the afternoon as the search and rescue effort continues in many areas. But be on the lookout in the areas again to the east of. 65 in Kentucky and Tennessee for additional severe weather possible throughout the afternoon hours. Stay safe out there and stay tuned to the Central Illinois Weather Network. I'm Larry Eastep.